everyone! This is Shirley Borromeo of PLGA together with my group mates Kenneth, Rochelle, Jessica, and Shara. And we're here to present to you the basic step in creating an SLK. SLK is short for Self Learning Kit, an instructional materials which main objective is to help a student understand the lesson more easily and systematically. The first step in creating an SLK is to know your topic. Based on depth and guidelines in creating an SLK, SLK should be a localized materials. When we say localized, it could be a person, a history or event, food, animal that is popularly known in your local community. The second step in making an SLK is to look for a resource person for your topic. It is important that you have a resource person who has a deeper understanding of your topic. In our case, we ask the guidance of our critic teacher, Ma'am Ellen Bilyanka, to give an idea for our topic. And she suggested the alamat ng kaini. The third step in creating your SLK is to determine the learning competencies of your topic. Learning competencies can be found in Deaf Ed Curriculum Guide. There you are going to find the grade, the subject, and the objective of your lesson. This will serve you as a guide in creating your activity and your lesson. The fourth step in creating an SLK is to research about your topic. In searching information about your topic, you can use a book or a resource person who is knowledgeable about your topic. In our case, we look for a book in Municipality of San Rafael and we also conduct an interview with our barangay secretary for the history of our barangay and then we conducted an interview with the old people living in Kainin and also a retired Filipino teacher. The fifth step in creating a self-learning kit is to create your own story based on the data and information you gather from your resource person. You can now create your story for your SLK. You can also now start layouting the drawing for your SLK. The sixth step is to create an activity based on the learning competencies of your SLK. Activities that include in SLK can be a short test, a drawing, or a short game for your learners. And the last step in creating an SLK is the layouting and editing. In this portion, you can now finalize your SLK. Thank <laughs> you.